What is up everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac, a week in hell. So we are now on day four, which means we're playing as Kane. So Kane's one of my favorite characters. Um he starts out with not much health, he starts out with two two life, um a key, which is great, which is really useful. Um, quite a bit of attack and quite a bit of range and a quite a bit of speed as well. Or not, not range, just speed of attack. Um, and quite a bit of speed, you know, movement speed as well. Um, and he also starts up with the lucky foot, which makes it so every single pill we get is positive, just kind of like we saw in the previous episode. Um, all the pills we're going to get are going to be good. They're not going to be harmful in any way. They're all going to be nice and, uh, you know, helpful. So that's good. He also starts with the key, if I did not mention that. Uh, which is extremely helpful in guaranteeing us <clears throat> the uh, the uh, second item in the game from this, you know, the second floor, which, you know, needs a key, which is nice, which is good. And he doesn't start with the bombs, so we can't get this, this rock broken, but hopefully we'll get one of those somewhere in this floor. So, uh, the uh, strategy of the cane are kind of strange, because he's just an all-around, like, powerful... Uh, character. He's just, you know, very strong. Doesn't start with, like, you know, no HP. He's he's really just a good character all around, um, which makes it kind of hard to ha find strategies to make him better, because he's already so good. But, there are some strategies, like <clears throat> one that I, I use is just obviously buying every single pill since he, uh, he starts out with the lucky foot. If you get, um, mom's, uh, purse, that's really good, because that'll just give you a ton of pills. Any pill you find, you always just make sure you try to get it that's like one of the main, you know, one of the main uh, uses and one of the main strategies of Kane. Other than that, it's like really, he's just a really powerful character. So like any, I mean, he, any item's really good with him. Um, which makes, I mean, I, I don't know, he, he's one of my favorites just because I've beaten the game so many times as him. And like I've always found it so easy to beat the game as him, but he's almost a little bit like boring because he's just so easy to play as. And we now have little Gish. This guy will shoot with us. He's a little familiar, and uh, when he shoots an enemy, it uh, I think it goes slow, like the enemy starts to move slowly, which is pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool that like Gish can do that. Alright, so we have half a heart right there. We may be able to go into this room that takes out a total of one heart, and gives us some red, uh, some red chests. Let's see how many hearts drop from the boss. We are reversing Famine. Alright, so yeah, as you can see right there, Gish will paralyze, or slow down at least. Yeah, slow down our foes that it hits. Which is such a good item. And actually, really, really good familiar to get. I think it's one of the best familiars in the game. Is definitely Gish, uh, just because I don't know. He makes everything so easy when everything's all slowed down like that, which is nice. Especially I mean, even bosses too. Crazy. Like everything. Even they shoot slower too. You can. Uh, I think you can actually get an ability that does that too. All right. So we got the Cuban meat, which is good. All right. So we have a full heart. We have a full heart that we can pick up in this floor. Which means, let's go in, uh, go into the sacrificial room. I don't know what, what this room's called. I forget what it's called, because I, I don't use it that much. This room, it takes a heart, to, or half a heart to go in. You get a chest, which has a troll bomb. That sucks. And it takes half a heart to get out. I, I only go in there when I have enough hearts on the floor to actually, you know, re replenish the hearts I lose. Which we do. Which is good. Which is good. Uh, I, don't think I've, I don't think I've used that strategy in any of the other episodes. And we're missing out on a bomb, but oh well. Let's just keep going. I'm not going to waste a key to get into a shop to maybe have a bomb and waste all of her money to get that bomb. But I will use a key on this. Oh, awesome. All right, cool. We got ten bombs. Why does it always happen? Why does it always happen? <laughs> we get the ten bombs as soon as we don't need them. I don't know. But that's actually really good. Getting an item from these golden chests in here is just always amazing and lucky. Very, very good. But this probably gonna be some hard, some hard enemies. Eh, no, not really. These guys aren't difficult at all. And the flies, the flies are a little difficult. They, they took a, I took a hit from them. All right, here we go. That was, that was pretty good. For ten bombs, I'll take it. Cool. All right, now we don't have to, you know, bypass any bombs or any, any bomb opportunities. Bomb opportunities, as I just now made up that word. I'm gonna copyright that real quick. Okay, done. Nobody can ever say that again. Good. And look at these happy, happy-go-lucky things that turn evil. He's evil, happy, bleeding from the eye babies. All right. So let's see. Let's. Oh, I'm just looking for the item room, as always. I don't think I'm gonna go into the uh, the shop just yet, because we don't really have enough uh, money yet. Maybe wait till like we get 15, so we can buy the uh, trinket slash whatever 15 cent item is normally there. But we'll give that uh, a little while. Oh come on, you stupid fly! Get rid of my soul heart. Ah, die. 
All right, we got a fork. That, uh, it's like every certain amount of rooms, it heals us like half a heart. Not really that good. Not that great. But, I might want to use it. I don't know. It's really, it's really not, you know, uh, I want to go into the, that room again to get another chest. But I want to, I don't think we would have enough rooms to, out to even use Isaac's heart, or Isaac's, uh, fork on it anyway. Anyway, all right, let's go in here. What do we get? The spoon! Hey, we got this last time. Cool. A homing shot. Hooray. Nice, good item. That's just, I mean, that's just a good passive item. That's not bad. It's not, like, decent. It's not, you know, really amazing. It's just good. Just good. Okay, let's go fight the boss. Nothing really on this floor. That's good. I mean, we got a soul heart, but we lost a soul heart. But we got the, the, uh, homing and shots, which is nice. And we get to fight the powered-up version of the Duke of the Flies. He shouldn't be that hard to kill, especially with Gish following us around. Which is nice. I could go up kind of close to him. Kind of hit him with the meat cube if I could maybe actually... Ah, it doesn't reach. Whatever. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this guy's this guy easy. Hopefully he drops something good since he's the... Uh, oh, oh, come on. Whenever you have an off-colored boss, that means that they're a little stronger than normal. Alright, we got dog, dog chow, which will give us our breakfast, I'm pretty sure. Or dinner, okay. Yeah, HP up. Alright, so we have one heart. Which means we shall now go uh, use that room. So it'll replenish our heart completely when we go back out. Sure, that should be good. Use some nice strategy there. Okay, we're going to skip the uh, heart donation guy. This guy will give us, like, you know, devil room items, which is really nice. But he takes so many hearts to do, it's not worth it unless you have a ton of hearts. I'd rather do that and get some attack flies for no reason. Okay, we're going to leave him. Leave him be. Yeah, if I had, like, a ton of hearts spread out throughout the floor, or maybe I found the super secret heart room, I would definitely do the uh, heart donation guy. But it's not worth it right now. All right, let's grab this heart, and let's go to the next floor. We got the caves. We got the catacombs. All right. All right. We got Isaac's fork, which is good. It only heals red hearts, though. So it's not amazing. But we just got a heart drop there. So we'll try to build up enough hearts to uh, to do the same strategy I've been doing each floor. And go through that, you know, that damaging room. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's like the... Uh, I don't know. Let's go into this one. <laughs> Alright, let's use it. And we got... Wow, a lot of items. That's pretty useful, you know. That's pretty useful at this uh, time in the game. If it was later, that wouldn't be that good. But we're, we're still pretty early. We're still pretty early in the game to have that be useful. Cool. Okay. And hopefully it's just two waves. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hate these guys so much. Then again, they get close and my cube of meat will hit them. Which is, which is uh, helpful. Which is really good. I'll probably be using that in the future, too, the cube meat. Just kind of do some damage against charging enemies. Oh, crap. Three rounds. Okay. Oh, gotta watch out for these dudes. Ah. Uh, just circle. Whenever, whenever the, uh, whenever the enemies just shoot at you like that, just circle them. And they'll never hit you. Okay. There we go. Come on, one more. And, yeah, there we are. Oh, and a soul heart. I'll just grab it, whatever. Okay, cool. We have one and a half hearts in here. And another half heart there. Excuse me, I'm, I'm a little still, still a little congested and sick. Um, okay, cool. And we just got Isaac's heart, which just healed us zero, because we don't need it. Oh, Lust! How wonderful. Let's, oh, God, let's try to slow him down with Gish. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Gish. Oh, he's going down pretty fast. Yeah, Kane's very strong. Oh, cool, we got a pill. Does this pill will always be positive, or it'll be neutral? It's either neutral or positive. What we get? Tears up! That is amazing. Awesome. Shoot faster tears. Great. Yeah, I mean... Kane's is just the man for getting like really uber powerful uh, runs because you just get so many stat ups from all the pills you find. It's awesome. Okay, so let's uh, go try to find the item room, and then also the sacrifice room. I don't know. It's just weird because the sacrifice room I think is the one that just has like the spikes, the bed of spikes, which that room I never do. It's like. You have to run over the bed of spikes, right? And it might spawn an item, but the bed of spikes takes an entire heart away. And it's just totally not worth it. Alright, Ace of Spades, I'm gonna take this. This, uh, drops more tarot cards. It's, like, totally not worth going to that room and you just to walk over the bed of spikes a thousand times to even get, like, any, any item to spawn. And the item might not even be that good. It might be, like, you know, a literally a key. That's if, like, you have an insane surplus of hearts on your floor, you go into there. But I'm not doing that. Not doing that anytime soon, unless we, like I said, have it, have an insane surplus of hearts. Which so far it's not doing that bad. I think we have like three, three heart surplus right now. It's pretty good. 
on this floor. What we get? Up. Uh, I was. If it was more hearts, that'd be nice. Okay. We don't. We still don't have enough. We still don't have enough key. Or oh god, enough coins to go into the uh, shop. But we did find the item room. Let's check this out. What we get? We got the uh, forget me nows. These. I have to look out. I know you guys are gonna see the uh, the. I think these reset the floor. Yeah, the level ends as freshly generated with the new rooms. That is a really good item. I think it only, yeah, it only works once, I believe. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. No, we're gonna fight the boss and then do it. What this, it literally resets the entire floor completely. So we'll get another item room, another boss fight. It's a really good item. But I think it's only a one-time use, but that's okay. We're not going over anything by taking it. So we're gonna fight the boss, get the boss's item, and then use this forget-me-now. We're in a really good spot, too, because these floors aren't that hard. But we're gonna get a whole other item from it. I mean, it's not that great since we we would have had another like we wasted an item room to get this item. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why we're fighting the boss. Oh god, he just wow, he just charged the hell out of me. We're fighting this boss to make this forget me now worth it. That's pretty much what the plan is. And hopefully we can find some other cool stuff on the refreshed room. Oh god, ow, come on, stop hitting me, dude. All right, there we go. So what are we gonna get? And we got a, a devil room too. We got stem cells, health up. Nice. What are we get in here? Okay. Um, so yeah, sometimes the devil room will cost soul hearts. Three soul hearts. We don't have enough. I'm gonna take this though. Spirit of the Night's just so worth it. Okay, cool. So now it's used for the forget me nots, or the forget me nows, whatever they're called. All right. So yeah, now that they're gone, but now we have the entire floor reset with new enemies, new everything, which is pretty sweet. And now we can fly, which is the bonus to all this. And we have spectral tears. Which is awesome. Okay, let's kill off these these greed heads. This is what I'm pretty sure I know them as. Because when these guys hit you, you drop your coins just like greed does. Whenever greed hits you, you drop your coins too. Oh god. Oh, come on, just like that. God dang it. I need to keep like every soul heart I can get. Now that I've gone down back to two, two uh, life containers. We got some coins. That's enough coins. Let's go into the shop. 50% uh, off coupon, I guess. We'll take it. Not really what I wanted. I'd rather have an actual item. Steam sale. Whatever. Okay. Fine. Alright. <clears throat> Not what I wanted, but okay. We'll, we'll take it. Let's just kill off some more of these guys. Go and try to find the item room again. You know? Just kind of get a better item than the than the pill the pill thing. I thought those were the those were the uh, pill trinkets. I was going to be really excited for a second. But they weren't. Okay. I think, you know, like mom's caps or whatever. Alright, let's use this. What do we get? Ooh, we got a skeleton key! 99 keys! That's an amazing item. Cool, now we never have to worry about keys. We can open up every single door we ever want. Sweet. That's that, that's one of the three different items that maxes out your your general items. Um, the skeleton key does it. I don't remember which one the bomb, which maxes out your bombs. I don't know, but then the dollar bill gives you 99 cents. So, yeah, there's one for each of those, which is pretty cool. And we just got the key one, which is really good. I, I like to have the dollar bill. Just that means because you have to buy, you can buy anything in a shop. The bomb one's pretty crap though. Like no one needs 99 bombs. That's just insane. Anyway, yeah, the key, key and the and the money one are good. So good. That's a good item to get. All right. Oh, and look at that. We can just open that up. Get a goat hoof. Ah, uh, makes us go faster. But do I want to keep the? Let's keep this. We haven't got a tear card yet though. It's weird. I don't know why why it's taking so long for us to get one tear card. We have the ace of spades even. Tear cards can like change the game though. If you can get like a Joker one, then ah, oh, just yeah, tear cards are way better than just some speed. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, hey, this is the uh, the room I was talking about with the you go over the spikes and it damages you, but you get items. I need to drink water one sec. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So where's the item room? Where is it? Oh, come on. We need the item room in the boss room. Wait for us. Get a bunch of new items. Just kill these guys first. I like a damage up too. I mean, our damage is kind of high in the beginning, but it hasn't risen at all, which usually isn't good this late. Um, I like to have just one damage up. Well, we get terror card. Oh, judgment. That spawns a beggar, I believe, which we don't have any money to give, so we're gonna keep that for now. Let's go over a hole and shoot these guys from the hole. It's probably the best plan, so they can't hit us. Okay, there we go. Move to the next, another hole. There we are. Have Gish just kind of slow him down for us. Put him in a little Gish trap. Usually you get little Gish off of fighting the boss Gish. He always drops little Gish, but he also appears in items rooms. Item, uh, item rooms too. Oh god, ah! 
That was not a good plan. That was not a good strat or attack my on my part. All right, there we go. Item room, what do we get? Dynamite, not good at all. Or kamikaze dynamite, whatever. This uh, damages you, but makes an explosion, but it's not worth it because it damages you. <laughs> it's like right there, it's not worth it. <coughs> okay. So, if we lose that other half soul heart, I might actually use the sacrificial room until we use up all of our excess hearts. But if we keep it, then I won't. Oh god, I feel like ah, I feel like I am. I hate these guys so much. It doesn't look like Gish is doing anything to them either. Maybe if we hit their head, it'll actually slow them down. I don't know. But yeah, they just keep splitting up more and more. Okay, yeah, we lost it. All right, <laughs> I'll go and use the sacrifice room, I guess, um, to use up the hearts on the floor because we don't have a different the other sacrifice room. So we'll use that one. And we got Squeezy. Not gonna take those hearts right now because I'm gonna go use that thing up. But now we shoot fast faster. Cool. <clears throat> so we haven't got many uh, pills, which is a problem. As I said, we are good at, you know, using pills. So let's run over that. See, so take a full heart of damage. God, such like it's, it's ugh, I don't like using this because it never spawns anything. It's such like a waste. Whatever. I usually like to use the heart machine in the, in the arcade because that always gives you some coins, you know? The other one's just like such a gamble. It's not worth it. I'm just going to take this and let's just leave. Let us leave. And then we'll spawn in judgment. We actually have some money to give the beggar. Because right now I do not. Oh, and then uh, let's let's just try for a secret room. Let's just see if this is a secret room. Because, I mean, usually when four rooms surround something... Nope. When four rooms surround one room, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a good bet to at least just try to place a bomb if you have, like, 20 bombs like me. Look at that! This is like, you know, if you want to find something that a lot of rooms border... And that usually will lead to a secret room. So that's nice. Okay, cool. Let's just leave. Let it, oh, no! I just jumped down without getting the soul hearts. I didn't mean to just run over the basement. The attic thing. Not whatever the hell it is. Dang it! Just wasted two... Uh, we probably would have lost them anyway. <laughs> oh, well. That That's that's painful. That sucks a lot. I didn't want to grab them because the stupid... That's why I never use that room. It's so lame. It doesn't give you anything ever. Alright, replenish our unneeded coin or unneeded keys. Okay. More coins. This is good. I may spawn in the beggar the beggar right now. Let's do that. Oh, we got a stupid heart beggar. Come on. Well we'll leave him. We'll leave him. There's no point in killing him. He always just drops two spiders. Just stupid. He spawns into two spiders. <clears throat> we'll leave him until we see how many hearts we have left. Oh, oh there's half. Okay. We may need that half. Is why I don't want to just immediately give it to him. We may need that to actually just heal ourselves before we leave the floor. So I'll wait on that for a second. Whoa. Okay. Okay, guys. See how it's going. Just attack me as soon as I enter in the room. Jeez. No, no hello. No declaration of a assault. Just an immediate attack. Let's see how it is. Then again, there's probably no reasoning with whatever the freaking hell these things are. Alright, Die. <laughs> die. Hopefully this guy drops something because he's... Yeah, he pill. Wow. That's really lucky. Balls of steel. Hey, there's our two soul hearts we missed out on. Makes me feel a little bit... Oh, God. Makes me feel a little bit better. Not completely better, but a little bit better. And we got the item room right here, which is sweet. Take out these these guys. These, they're, they're pretty similar enemies, I guess you could say. There we go. Come on. One way is that they don't ever tie. Nice. Okay. So let's go into the item room. We got the extra glasses. All right, it's good. Extra vision. Good item. Good item. Not a power up, but a good item. Would have probably liked to power up more, but still good. Oh wow, full heart just dropped from that poop. Cool. That'll be good to donate to the heart guy. All right, cool. And here's the secret room, the super secret. Oh my god, internal heart. Wow, we're getting pretty lucky. Okay, good. To save that for later. And here's the secret room, which we got some more moolah. Cool. Hope we can find a shop. Maybe. Um, so, f uh, shooting necro tears makes it uh, harder to break fires. Just a very weird fact. <laughs> makes it like twice as long to, to, to put out fires. And to put out TNT, too. It takes like, a long time to shoot out TNT. More money! Oh, we got an arcade. Okay. Do I want to waste some money in the arcade or want to wait for sh... Uh, we're going in the arcade. We'll use enough money up until we get to 15. I'm just going to switch off between these two things. We got pink eye. Make some poison. I'm actually going to take that. That's actually pretty good. And we got a tarot card. Okay, what we get? Death. I'll just take that too. Whatever. 
Okay, actually, I'm gonna hold me. I'm gonna take the Ace of Spades for now. So we can maybe spawn in some more tarot cards. We got some Moolah. The Shroom, which is not good. It's a random Shroom effect. It's like a low chance that it actually gives you a Shroom effect, and the Shroom effect's random. So we don't exactly want that. But we're getting money from this guy. We're making a profit. Dang. And we're getting a ton of, ton of stuff from the slot machine, too. Wow, every single thing has been dropped. Like, every, every, every coin has gone to a drop. Hey, we got the Polaroid! We do not want that right now, though. We want to keep the Polaroid away for as, soon as, as long as possible. Soul Heart. Okay. This is some good stuff. Oh, we got the, uh... We got the Crystal Ball. I'm going to actually keep this thing, because this just gives us a Soul Heart and reveals the map. So why not? We, I want it more than the stupid Dynamite, which sucks. But <laughs> okay, let's go to 15. Or uh, oh, well, actually no, wait. We can go to longer because uh, we have half off. So let's grab pink eye. There we go. This will poison enemies, which we need because we don't have much damage. Woo! I just want to try to get the uh, the fly love. That's what I'm going for. Hopefully we can actually get that from this dude. Maybe. Oh no, it's a key. Yeah, we can use up some money because we don't need all of our money right now. Because there's only seven coins when everything's half off for an item. So, uh, yeah, this guy, wow, he's actually literally putting me out, putting a profit out for me. It's pretty nice. And if you look around, um, <clears throat> the signs of the arcade is pretty cool. You can see all the developers' other games, like Super Meat Boy right here. You can see right here, here's Gish, which is pretty cool. We have a little Gish right now. Uh, you can see, I think that's Mom. I want to see, I don't know what, oh, no, no. I don't know if that's Ether. I don't remember what that one is. Um... And you can see, uh, this is the... Oh, here, wait, hold, wait, oh, wait, hopefully we get this. This is the other game, I don't remember what it's called, but... Oh, come on! We didn't get the Fly Love. Kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. But yeah, the arcade's a really cool room, because they put all those little references in there. Pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna save this heart for the Devil Heart Beggar guy, because he gives better stuff than the Heart Machine, even though it usually takes some more hearts to give it. He, he gives much better items and the heart machine, so we're gonna save all the hearts for him. This guy's getting so much money to me. It's like awesome. Okay. Oh, so we do have an item on we do have an item room on this floor. Or shop, I mean. How about we go alright, so to change some pace, because we're just sitting there literally forever. Let us go check out what's in the item room real quick. Or the shop room. And that's also I mean we have so many soul hearts, let's just use up this guy a little bit. We'll go all the way to half a heart. What do you give me? Oh, I got a tongue. Judas's tongue. What does this do? I don't remember. I think it's a trinket. Hold on. Yeah, it is a trinket. Judas's tongue. Judas's tongue. Uh, let's see. Items in the devil room only cost one heart. Soul hearts trade still cost three. Hmm. Hmm. One heart or pink eye. I think I'm gonna go with the pinky eye. I don't want to really spend any more hearts, to be honest. But yeah, it's a good item he gave me. Alright, let's go. Let's go heal up. And then we'll just keep donating more and more hearts to this guy. We can totally heal up, I think, by using... What? <laughs> I think, yeah, the heart the heart down here from the poop. Cool. I would have liked a better item than that. I mean, if I had a bunch of red hearts right now, I probably would take it. Uh, because I think you actually get more devil rooms the more you donate to devil beggars. I believe that's a thing. So I'll, I'll probably get a devil room. But I just don't want to actually waste any more red hearts on any devil rooms. Let's just keep going with this guy. What are you giving me now? Oh, the pin. That's not that good. That, uh, I think it gives us piercing... Piercing eye, uh, tears? What what we get? The Empress! That shoots down the mom's foot, I believe. Okay, we're gonna keep it for now. Uh, let's go and get the other hearts. I do have an eternal heart, though. Ooh, should I use the... Should I get Judas's tongue? I don't know. You know what? We'll take Judas's tongue... Right before we get to the boss fight. How's that? Okay. And because we have the eternal heart, so, I mean, if we only want to spend one heart on, like, something amazing, we have the eternal heart to up our, to up our, uh, heart gain, I guess, up our, our life containers. So we'll do that. Oh, a pill! That is the balls of steel, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, nice. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So now that we have all that stuff, let's go to the shop. We gotta be strategic about this whole, this whole ordeal, right? We gotta use every single piece of our- oh god. Every single resource to its fullest. So let's go over here and check out the shop. Hold on. <laughs> Take care of some flies first. Go fly fishing. Oh cool, another heart. And a dime. That's useful. Cool. And we got these guys that are trapped. Oh god. 
Not anymore. <laughs> Alright. Take them out. See, so, yeah, now we got poisonous shots. I think it's like one every four or something. One every six. One every five. It's a poisonous shot. Alright, what we got? The ladder is useless. We got a pill, which is good. Oops. Let's use the pill. Because that'll be always positive. Oh, yeah. Alright, so it's a neutral pill. And I ate them. Just makes us go all crazy. Um, I'm going to leave the rest here. Because I think we can much better use our coins on the arcade guy. And see how many like soul hearts we have right now? I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing pretty well for ourselves. I'm going to use this one more time. Alright, nothing. Alright. We're going to pick up Judas's tongue, like I said, after the boss. So we can spend a heart on a devil room. I mean, if we get the devil room. We might not. I'd be okay if we don't. But if we do, I want to I wanna be prepared for it. Let's blow this up, too. So I'm gonna, all my heart's going to go to the devil guy. Oh, wow! That's another eternal heart! Holy crap! Okay, let's go use it. Let's go form both of the eternal hearts together. Man, this is a long floor! I don't know, it's floor forever. That's, that's good, though. Usually means a lot of things are happening if you're on a floor for this, this long. Sweet. Okay, three heart containers. Worth spending one for a devil item. Definitely worth spending one. That is such a low chance of getting a, an eternal heart like that. Okay, let's just keep feeding the money into this guy. For now. We'll save some money for, you know, future shop costs. But... I mean, this guy, he's going to take it forever. I usually just <laughs> blow these guys up more because I'm just bored. Because it's just, like, they never end. I mean, the, the, the grand prize is okay. You know, the fly love, it's not like anything you can't live without, but it's alright, I guess. <laughs> Let's go to, like, 25. 25 coins, then we'll just call it a bust. Unless he just keeps giving me more coins, then hey. Okay, I just need to get another drink. I, my, my, my throat. Oh no, the bomb's gonna blow him up! Oh, or not. Okay. Half of me kind of wanted it to, to be honest. Half of me was like, oh no. Half of me was like, yes, finally. I got some more hearts. That's that's really good. I mean, okay, here's the fly love. Hopefully we get this. Yay! Okay, he's done. Alright, good. Let's go uh, donate uh, one and a half hearts to the heart guy, the devil beggar. This should give us like a really good chance of getting the devil room. Donating all these hearts. There's a lot of hearts. Oh, another pill! Woo! I think that's the balls of steel, right? No, it's I found pills. Oh, that sucks. Okay, whatever. It's better than nothing. Okay, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh, okay, my god, he just, he just, so he just went away and he dropped mom's bottles of pills. Mom, the uh, mom's bottle of pills, which is a use item that gives us a pill every time we use it. Probably the best item you can get as Kane. And we just got bombs or keys, which is actually a really good swap. I'd rather have 99 bombs than 99 keys. Awesome. Okay, that's a really good item to get. Um, like, besides mom's, uh, what is it, mom's purse, that's probably the best item you can get as Kane. Because we have the lucky foot, so every single pill we get is going to be good. So that's really good. And we have Judas' tongue. Alright, let's go fight. Oh, I forgot to heal. Hold on. Oh, the Empress. Why do I always think this is the one that crashes on down on people, but again, it's a power-up. Whatever, I was gonna use it either way on the boss. Because we have the death terror card to grab for later on. So right now, let's just take care of this dude. Hopefully the devil room appears. I'd be really surprised if it didn't. It didn't. Wow. That's a shocker. Okay, so we got the second cube of meat, which means now we have a little super meat boy head to shoot with us, which is awesome. Okay. Um... Let's go, let's go heal up and grab that terror card. And then I guess throw Judas's tongue away for the pink eye. Ah. I don't know, it's like so, it's so tempting. One heart at the devil room is just, that's, I, I, I have to keep it. It's not really worth, like the poison's good. It's not like really good. We have a pretty good damage output right now. Where, where am I going? Oh yeah, let's go heal. I have a decent damage output, especially with the Cuban meat. Now at level two. I think I want to keep the Judas tongue. I think I'm gonna keep it. Cause you still have like a like four rooms to really work with, and like at one heart a container a pop. If we can get like a like a really good item off of that, that's gonna be so worth it. All right, let's just let's keep it and go, keep it and go. Never look back, never look back. Oh, actually, we have, we have only two rooms, don't we? Cause we have to pick up the Polaroid. Oh well, two rooms that that hopefully will be enough. Let's knock out these fires. Come on, come on. So frustrating knocking out fires with the necro tears. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're. I, I feel actually really confident. At where we are right now, we are doing. Pr oh come on. We're doing pretty good. Oh, I just lost a full soul heart. That sucks. We're doing pretty good for our, our, uh, our where like where we are in the game. 
We have actually a lot of soul hearts, which is nice. We can also fly. We have three hearts, like red container hearts, which is nice. And we have two familiars, one being the Gish, which is really good, really helpful. Sweet. And we got a tarot card, which is the Fool. Did I not pick up the death tarot card? Did I just totally forget to do that? I totally just forgot to do that, didn't I? I feel dumb. Okay. Well, that's just crate. <laughs> that's all right. The death isn't that isn't that fantastic. How did I just totally forget that? That's what I was playing. Oh yeah, because I went to go heal and I just just cross. It did not cross my mind. So I guess. Whatever. Whatever. I'll fight these regenerating guys and these blood flies, and I'll be all good with my rhymes. What we get? Another pill. Oh come on! We've got. I found pills three times. They're so useless. They don't give us anything. You know? <laughs> it's like the one pill that's really kind of crap for Kane, because all the other pills are really good. But after you know six rooms, we get the I found pills uh, power up again. Or sorry, not the I found pills. The uh, the, the the pill case. You know what I mean? We get we get another pill. <laughs> Every six rooms, we get one pill, which is really good. Very good, oh god, very good rate of pills. If we can find the habit martyr thing, like I was talking about with Maggie, that'd be even ma more amazing. Every time we get hit, we get our, like, pills halfway. Every two hits, we get a pill. That'd be really good. Now, let's give all our money to the beggar. Hopefully, maybe an angel room spawns. What do we get? Key. I'm just gonna keep going until it gives me an item. Oh, okay, cool. Health up again. Nice. Now, I'm really glad I, I brought Judas's tongue. Alright, we got, uh, I think this is damage up. Yeah, blast damage up, Mr. Mega. Pretty cool. We got 99 bombs. That's actually really useful. So, you know, I can use it on any enemies I want to. So just be like, boop. Now they're just going to get wrecked. Nice. Like, once you get that item, you can really start using your bombs as, like, a, a legitimate weapon. Which is pretty sweet. I mean, obviously, that, that works better with items that make all of your attacks be explosions. Be explosions, like epic fetus. Stuff like that. Alright, we got another... Oh, we got tears up. Cool. Tears up pill. From our bottle of pills. And now that we have a good space item, that means we're going to go uh, and explore every single floor, or every single room and every single floor, so we can recharge that as much as possible, as much as physically possible. So that's going to have to be another, oh god, another little doctrine. Got to go to every single room. And also we need to look for the super secret rooms, because we have the x-ray glasses. So, oh, there, speaking of the devil. Or, well, hopefully it's the devil, that'd be cool if it was just the devil room. What do we get? Bombs are key. Not gonna take that. Much rather have 98 bombs than 98 keys. And we still have 28 keys. That's a lot. Cool. Um, oh, another pill. Wow, we're getting really lucky on the pills. Really are. Speed up. Cool. This is what I'm talking about. Just starts here. We just start with the power-ups and just keep going. Constantly power-ups. Really useful. I think I might want to go to the shop. Let's go to the shop. Let's see what's in the shop. A pill! Wow! Nice. What do we get? Range up. Cool. This is the uh, a little beggar. This guy actually takes all of the coins that we find and will spawn us in items. Like pills. I'm going to actually take that. Bum friend is what they call him. I'm going to take him. So yeah, he'll take he'll pick up all of our coins as long as we don't beat him to him. Oh, more bombs or keys? God dang it. Well, we get that. Is that another speed up? Nice. Why are there so many pills being spawned? Good God. Anyway, I mean, I, I'd rather use this guy for my money. Since there's not really many shops left in the game, I don't know. We'll see. I see he goes and picks them up, and he'll spawn in items. I'm just hoping he, I'm hoping he spawns in pills. I really am. That's like that's the main thing I need. Cause I mean that's like that's you play Kane for the pill, the the lucky foot. So you just picked up that. Okay, let's pick up this bomb and get out of here. Oop, I want my tarot card back. There we go. All right, let's go to the super secret 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 room. What do we got? Cancer. For, I'm gonna keep Judas's tongue. I mean, because hear me out. We're gonna need to pick up the Polaroid anyway. I'd rather have Judas's tongue get me a good Devil item than just use the Cancer for like a turn or I mean a turn, you know, like a floor one or two floors. Not really worth it exactly. So we'll keep Judas's tongue and kill these guys off. Hopefully, get some more spears, some more spills. When we get a key. And a coin, which I did accidentally picked up myself. That's okay. I mean, picking up every once in a while a coin isn't that bad. Keeping away from the bum friend because you can use them to still buy items from the shop. So I'll pick up every once in a while the coins. But I'll, I'll leave most of them for him. And we got Envy. Not a good freaking boss. I hate this guy. I hate him so much. With this, ah, with the splits. He reminds me of like all the slimes. Slime in any game. 
It always splits into two. Two smaller ones, and two smaller ones, and two smaller ones, and two smaller ones. Over and over and over and over and over. Alright, this wasn't that bad. Oh, if we can get rid of that little one. Hold on. Oh god, oh god. Oh no, there's like seven. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. And this will recharge our pills, so worth it. Alright, cool. And he just dropped one piece of penny. One, one, one pent. Okay. Oh, we got a half heart. And a fire that would kill us. We don't have, it looks like, anything to sacrifice our hearts on. No heart machine. Neither of the sacrifice rooms. No, no devil baby <laughs> bum thing. So, oh well. These hearts will go to waste, I guess. Whatever. That could be poetic. My heart is going to waste. Okay. Let's go into this arena after we fight these guys. Because, I mean, I'm just, I'm pretty strong right now. Uh, with all of my power-ups. And I feel good. Oh, I found pills. Come on! Give me something good. You know? What we get? We got, oh cool, Roid Range. Speed and range up. That's really useful. That's really useful. Any of the needles are always good, I'm pretty sure. The needles are never bad. You always want to pick up needles. Which is a really weird, weird thing that they made in this game, but that's yeah, true. The needles are always something positive. So, yeah. <laughs> now, don't do that in real life. Do not pick up random needles you find on the ground in real life. But if you're playing The Binding of Isaac, everything you wouldn't do in real life, you do. And you usually get, you know, not punished for it. You get rewarded for doing your, the weird things you should not do. Alright. Like killing zombie people. Zombie people are people too. Even if they have no emotion and try to kill you. Alright, so, that's it. For this floor, shall we go to the boss room? Oop, I'm just running into the wall. Alright, so I go to the boss room and then go into Mom's floor next. After this boss. <laughs> Hopefully the devil room spawns. Alright, we got Gish! Look at that! So this is Gish. He is a upgraded version of... Uh, I don't remember the guy's name, but he's like one of the first bosses. His black sludge slows you down, just like his his little familiar guy does. I wonder what's going to spawn. Another Gish? Can that happen? <laughs> can, can I have two Gishes, I wonder? But uh, since I'm flying, I won't actually feel the effects of the sludge. He's a really easy boss, to be honest. Especially when you have Gish yourself. Oh, boy. Spawns in what? Nothing? Okay. Oh, there we go. Spawn something I just killed instantly. So yeah, his, he has a little bomb attack. I don't know. He's easy. He has a lot of health. To be honest, he has a lot, a lot of health. Like a ton of health. But I'm taking it out pretty quick. Because I have all my upgrades. And yeah, we got the devil room. Oh my god, we got mom's purse. Mom's coin purse, which has a bunch of pills in it. Wow. But they're all the freaking I found pills and the range up. The range, or speed up, I mean, is okay. I found pills suck. <laughs> All right, let's go into the devil room with the Judas's tongue. Sweet, we got the mark. Damage up, and it gives us I think a soul heart. I'm not gonna take that book. I forget what it does. I think oh, it spawns like a familiar, I think, but it's a space item. I'm gonna keep the pills. Awesome. Thank you, Judas's tongue. You have paid off. All right, now we're on Mom's floor. Let's go into the secret room. Wow, we got Bob's head. Mm, meh, not really worth it. It's just you throw the head, and it's a poisonous bomb. That's it. Not really good. Right, I'll just keep going around every single room. Wow! Oh, we are, we're in the item room. I was about to say, like, we just went into a normal room and get an item? I was like, that was that would be amazing. But no, we just happened to find ourselves in the item room. Okay, we have three shooting familiars. This is good. We're doing really well. And we have, like, max speed. Not max attack, but max speed. I think max range. And we have three shooting familiars, which is really good. If we can get that Super Meat Boy one more cube of meat, he'll run around and just attack stuff by himself, which will be really useful. Really, really useful. I and mean, if we can get a Super Meat Boy, that'd be really good, but a meat, normal Meat Boy would be great, too. Alright, cool. Take out those guys. What we get? The Joker! Oh my god! That's so... That's so good! When we have Judas's tongue. Let's use it. Oh my god, I want to take both. <laughs> Let's take the pack for more damage. That's good. Should we take the three for the split shots? Split shot worth three soul hearts? Wow, okay, and the beggar just gave us a range up. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. This is, this, wow, we're getting beefed up. This is what I'm talking about with Kane. Kane and pills, literally, like, you win. I, I, Kane is one of my favorite characters to play as, just because he's, he's just so good. Okay, let's leave that to his exploding self. And let's still explore every single, every single floor for all of the... Pill, pill power-ups. 
you know, to like to keep recharging our pill bottle. We got one more, one more room, and then we'll be good. I think we can get rid of Judas' tongue now, too, because... Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, yeah, because we need the Polaroid anyway, so... Whatever. What's that pill again? What's the white one? Tears up! Wow, that's that's what I actually really would like to have always. And we got Temperance, which gives us a heart machine. Okay. And we got another Tears up from our pill bottle. Jeez, I'm getting really lucky. This is great. All right, so we got a health machine. If we get any red hearts, we'll use that. If not, whatever. We'll just blow it up. But yeah, we have a really high attack right now. We have a ton of shots going on with the split shot. And all of our familiars. This is good. This is really good. Cool. This what is this gonna drop? All right, half a heart. We'll go and use the heart machine. Hopefully, get something good. Uh, money, whatever. <laughs> Money's money. Hopefully, maybe we can find a shop to buy some uh, pills at. Like a, I guess it's like a pharmacy. You could call it. Kill these guys. Yeah, our damage is really. Oh, eternal heart. Holy crap. That's gonna give us another health up. Like we didn't, like we couldn't have gotten more beefed up. We need, we got this. We might go all the way with Kane. We really might. This might go all the way. That'd be really cool if it did. I haven't. We haven't got one that went all the way. Kane is like I was betting that I would get Kane as going all the way because I'm just so good at him because he's just such a good character. So I'm not exactly surprised of how well we're doing. But yeah, this is great. Oh, wow. Oh, I should have let the bum friend grab all those coins. What am I doing? Two of spades! Double our, our keys. Alright. Two of hearts that'll heal us two hearts, which is really good because we have that heart machine. So I think we're just going to use this until we have one and a half, or just half a heart, and then use the two of hearts. Hopefully this will drop a blood bag. Oh, wow. The, the bum friend just picked that up. Here, I'm going to let him get the coins. Maybe drop another pill for me. Go ahead, dude. What do you got? Oh, a key. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, he drops tarot cards, keys, bombs, um, I guess, no, he doesn't drop money, you know, pills, all the basic stuff. Let's use it once more. Got anything? Nope, alright. We're out. Still trying to find the super secret room, we haven't found that yet. Oop, okay, whoa. There we go, Built bottle of pills, I found pills, that sucks. It's okay, because it, it just does nothing. I found pills is literally zero. It, it, it changes your guy, it makes him look a little dumber. Or a little older, but besides that, it makes it does nothing at all. Technically nothing. Okay. Um. Oh, we were already in the shop. I don't know when were we in the shop. What did I buy in the shop? Oh, it was it was greed, right? Greed was in the shop. Go figure. All right. So what we got in here. Try to get some more soul hearts from this dude. We got the hermit. Nice. So teleport us to the shop on the next floor. The flat penny. Which will give us, I think, a key when we pick up coins. We don't need that. We don't need the red patch. I am looking for... Oh, there we go. Mom's Pearl spawns in more soul hearts. I am looking for a better trinket for, I guess, the remainder of this floor. Which isn't much. The chariot's actually a really good item. You can charge enemies. Oh my god, that's what I want. Safety cap. That spawns more pills, but we it's a little bit too late for it. The chariot's really good because, yeah, you, uh, you like, become invincible and you can charge an enemy and do damage to them. Um... I guess I'd... Oh, the Emperor. The Emperor's really good. I might actually keep the Emperor all the way to the end. And we got Isaac's head. Ah! All these trinkets are so good. Isaac's head spawns another familiar, but we don't really need another familiar. You got the tower that blows stuff up, I believe. I'm gonna keep the Emperor for the very end of the game. Because it's so... It's gonna be so useful. Oh, cool. We got the crystal ball again. Let's just use that. Get a soul heart. Oh, we got a tarot card. Okay. That's alright. Oh, why did I just use that tarot card? I could have kept that for the machine. Oh, well. Alright, let's keep using his tongue, uh, and the Emperor. That sounds good. Sounds good, because, you know, we can't go back once we step into Mom's lair. We can't leave. So, we have to bring everything. We have to plan ahead, pretty much, for Mom's boss fight. So, I'm bringing everything I think I'll use later on in the game. There we go. Uh, oh, you gave me another heart. Thank you. We got the Fool. It's useless. It just sends us back to the first room in the floor that we entered into. We got another arcade. Dang, I could just I could just sit at the arcades all day right now. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll try to be a little quick. I'll try to be quick. Any money that pops out, I'll just give to the to the beggar. How's that? We do have some hearts, though. So I'm going to use those over there. Try to do all this at once. <laughs> There's so many things to remember. I'm, like, I'm just going to hit like almost each one of those. Oh, a rusty key. That's useless. I would have liked to have a dollar bill that would have given me 99 cents. We would have literally been here forever. What I get? A heart! Good, I can use it over here. 
grab the heart, do that, get a fly, have the bum, grab that coin, drop nothing, hopefully more hearts get dropped. Oh, nope, nothing, okay. Alright, let's use them one more time, then let's leave. Unless you drop some more coins. I want to use them to five, then I want to leave. Oh, okay. Alright, you're getting blown up. You're getting blown up. Okay. I should, probably shouldn't have blown that up without taking those hearts. We could go and use the heart machine... Actually, a lot. A lot more times. Uh, we're going to take some trips back and forth. But, it's just when that, when that beggar, the bum guy, can actually drop us, like you know, pills, I don't really want to risk it. I don't want to risk not using this thing. Two of spades, again, 99. Wow, we are just maxing out everything. Why not? Okay, let's go heal up. We, we, we move fast. This isn't going to take a while. Let's go heal up and then, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let's use the, uh, let's use this room over here. Let's use that. Oh, no, 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 because actually that'll take away our soul hearts. It's a good thing I didn't do that. Yeah, th this room doesn't just take away red hearts. It takes away soul hearts, so I'm not going to use it. Scratch that plan. Let's just keep going on the red heart machine three more times. Should be a good amount of money for our bum. Hopefully give us another pill. No? Alright, fine. Oh, we got a fish head. Another trinket. I think it spawns out some flies. Not really worth it. Alright, let's just go fight mom. Go fight mom. We're done. Done using all the done using the resources. Let's just go fight. Alright, grab these. There we go. Not gonna use the Emperor, just for time's sake, I'm not gonna use it. Okay, I'm saving it for literally the last level. The Emperor is a very good card to get for the last level of the game. Alright, oh, don't wanna get that. Let's blow this up, because I don't I think I'm gonna use it anymore. And we got some oh, money I just picked up for on accident. Bum friend, okay. So we have an eternal heart waiting for us, which we have to grab. But luckily for us, we have to get rid of all of our soul hearts before we even lose it. I'm grabbing it because, you know, you can't leave mom, like I said. You have to stay. You have to stay and, and uh, go to the next floor. Thank God we got the normal mom. No different colored mom. No souped up mom. We got just a normal fight, which is good. Nice, clean fight. Even though it's very bloody, very disgusting. Not very clean at all, actually. A nice, fair fight. How's that? Even though she has five different ways of attacking me. Alright, cool. We're done. Nice. Mom's underwear range up. Sure. And we got the Polaroid, which we have to keep. All right. To the next floor. To the womb. What we got? Okay. So, we're looking for the secret rooms, obviously, like that. I always... I, I say that... Oh, crap. We just got hit. I always say that, and then we immediately find it. And we got another pill. Range up. Okay. Let's take our... Oh, crap. No! I picked up the Emperor and I accidentally used it. Oh, what bad luck. Though we have... We have a... Uh, the War Horse guy. What bad luck. That's such crap. I did not mean to do that at all. I meant to use the pill. The range up pill. Whatever, this boss is actually really easy. Oh! Except for when he hits me. Alright. Yeah, it's just one of the horsemen that hops off his horse, and it's like two bosses practically. But, I don't know. This thing never dies. It's because you can never get like many hits on it. You have to like wait. To wait for it to come around constantly. Can you just go? Can you just go? Come on! Look how many health, how many health this thing has. Look how much health. How many hits it's taking. Finally. Oh my god, a third cube of meat! Cool, now we have a meat boy. So meat boy runs around, and he attacks stuff for us, which is pretty cool. Uh, if we ever get into a position where we don't want to go out and attack things, we can actually just have the meat boy go run over and attack it for us. Uh, which you might see later on. We got, um, this. Let's use it. That's really crap. Wow, two coins and a bomb? Are you kidding me? <clears throat> That's really bad. Whatever, meat boy will do a lot, <clears throat> a lot of damage to things. He just runs around, he, he runs around, he chases stuff. And he just kind of sits there and he attacks it. Uh, sometimes it's not good like this, like when he, when the monster's running away from him. But if a monster's standing still, it's pretty much amazing. So like Isaac, you know, Isaac just sits there. That's he does a ton of damage to Isaac. If we can get a super meat boy, he does the same thing. He just does a lot more damage. Hopefully we can get another cube of meat. That'd be great. That'd be really great. All right, we got another pill, which is range up again. Jeez, what is our range? Wow, all of our stats except well, except for range, really. All of our stats except for range are maxed out. Huh. Thought our range would have been maxed out by now. Okay. Let's blow this up. Because I don't want to use any of my, my coins on anything else. Let the bum friend grab all of our coins for us. And then just kind of shoot everything. That's how you go. That's how you do it. Okay. And there we go. Hopefully the pills that we get will be better. We got the sun. That's a really good tarot card. Um, oh, another thing. You know how the tinted rocks, the blue rocks, 
uh, are blue in the um, other levels. In the womb, there are still tinted rocks, but you just can't see a color change. So usually, if you have a ton of bombs like I do, you just blow up every rock you can find. Because one of these might... Oh, crap. Oh, Shoot Meeple actually pushes rock, or pushes bombs. We'll have to remember that. Because uh, you might actually just find um, one of those rocks, and you know, it might have like a soul heart or something in it. Oh my god, the tick. We do not want to pick that up. That'd be really bad. So yeah, that's a good strategy, is if you have a ton of bombs... On the late levels, you just use them on everything. And we got another pill! Speed up! Sure, and we got a secret room. Super secret room. What we get? Hearts! Okay, we may be able to use that to our advantage if we can find a heart machine or something that takes hearts. If not, then it will be useless. Okay, let's go pick up this range up. There we go. Oh, I didn't pick up the tarot card. Oh, come on, how am I getting hit? Wow, we're actually low on health. Well, you know, considering. Let's use this. Speed up! Are these all of the... Is that all of the pills? I feel like we have more pills that we haven't, like, gone through. I guess we have speed up, range up. Yeah, we have, like, balls of steel, right? We haven't got that, like, ever. We got it, like, once, I thought. We have the I found pills, speed up, range up. I think that's it so far. I thought there would be more. Okay. Oh, don't let these guys hit me again. I let these guys hit me, like, every single time. Die. There's two versions of these guys. There's the version that shoots out one direction, the version that shoots out two directions. The two direction one is usually the one that gets to me. Alright, let's blow up some stuff. Man, how are none of these... The, oh, there we go. See? Just like I was talking about. That one just dropped a soul heart because that was one of the blue tinted rocks. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go to the left <clears throat> just to try to recharge our pills over here. Oh, I actually never went into this... I never went into this room. Huh. Whoops. Okay. Blow that up. Like I said, all the money really should be going to the bum. Just for some more pills. Bum friend, get it! Okay, doesn't give me anything. And we got another room! Ow! Oh, come on! I just got hit by a brain? Really? Those are some of the easiest enemies. They just circle around anything they can find. I really got hit by it. Oh, a soul heart just dropped. How nice. And tarot card. Hangman, we don't need that. We fly. Okay, next room, we got some laser beams, they just have to keep literally, oh, come on, keep moving around, these guys, hopefully you don't get hit, like I did, a bum! Alright, I'm gonna use all my money on this guy, he'll probably give me something good, hopefully. Anything? Hello? Please? Uh, oh, cool, dog chow, dinner, yay, HP up, that's always good to find. Um, we don't have Judas's tongue anymore, oh, we do have another range up, though, we don't have Judas's tongue, so we can't get the one heart devil items. I don't know if I'm... I, if, a devil item, if a devil item is like maybe two hearts, I might go for it. We just... We don't have a lot of soul hearts to play with right now. So I kind of want to keep them. Keep as many as possible. Keep as many normal red hearts as possible. We might actually need them. I can't believe I wasted the emperor card. I feel like such an idiot. But we do have range up. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Use the range up. There we go. Let's blow up all these rocks. This is also cool with the with the blast radius up. We can get like all of the rocks in like one boom. One false boom. Okay, oh, there we go. Hold on, I'm gonna take care of these guys first, then the, the doppelganger dude. I'm bringing him over here, squishing him. Alright, off to the next boss. Let's go. Wow, this one's taking this is a long playthrough. This is gonna this one's gonna be a long one. Okay, that's okay. That's alright, it's fine. Um but, alright, so we're into the next one. We have Curse of Darkness. That sucks. That sucks a lot. And we just got hit by our double. That sucks even more. Oh, and we don't want to get hit by the lasers. Don't get hit by the lasers. Don't want, don't want, don't want to, don't want to get hit by the lasers. Okay. I saw some, uh, there's some rocks over here. Let's blow these up. Maybe, oh. Come on, stop pushing stuff around, guys. Alright, nothing. That's okay. It's worth it. It's much worth it. Uh, I guess we just go to the boss room, maybe. Oops, uh, fight the it lives creature, cretin thing. Uh, left hand's not good. We don't need trinkets. Okay. Fight these guys. Oh, yeah, we're killing stuff really quick now, which is not, which is really good. All right, I'm just waiting for the pill, the pills to respond. With the the curse of darkness, it just sucks because you don't know where anything is. That means I don't know where the rooms I haven't gone to are, which really stinks. But we do have the pills, which we got. I found pills again! How crap. <laughs> really. 
Okay. Um, alright. Let's just, let's just, I mean, I don't like the, the curse of darkness. I can never remember where I went. I always, I have like a really bad sense of direction whenever this happens. Because everything, everything always looks the same, you know? Everything always looks like exactly the same as the last room. It starts to confuse you, and then you're like, what's going on with this? Kill an eyeball. Alright. I, I wonder, I really wonder why they never made an eyeball boss. Like, it's such like a, like a cliche thing, you know? Maybe that's why. But there's never, an, there's not an eyeball boss. Even though there's like the eye, that kind of eyeball, like, normal enemy. They never made into a boss. Oh, okay. Another, another little slot machine. We've gotten a lot of these. Any pills? Any pills? Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe rain, maybe, maybe death. No? Okay. Blow that up. Oh, bum friend, it's your lucky day. Okay. Oh, While well, he's doing that, I actually have to, I know it's bad, but I literally have to send a text. <laughs> um, okay, sorry. I know I never do this, but, oops. Okay. Yeah, I just, I have to send it. I didn't know this was actually going to go on for that long. I knew I'm good at cane, but this is going on for quite a while. All right, tw two of diamonds gives us double the coins. Yeah, it's going on for a while, so I need to, I need to tell people what's going on. It's all right. It's no problem. No problemo. Let's just continue on like nothing ever happened. Let's go to the right now. Brain. Yeah, there's not a brain boss either. Or is there? I don't think there is. There's no brain, no eyeballs, no no body parts. Balls of steel. Hey, why have we not gotten that like every single time? Could you imagine how many hearts we'd have if we got balls of steel instead of I found pills every time? Good God. We'd be swimming. We'd be literally swimming in the, we'd be swimming in the balls. Yeah, wow. Okay, careful of the word choice. All right. Let's be very, oh, careful to go into the store. All right, that's nothing. I think we're just gonna go into the. I, I don't feel like you know, trying to get through this whole place in the dark. Let's just go into the. Whoa, into you know this dude. Yeah, this guy's gonna go down quick. This guy's gonna go down real quick. <laughs> I think a lot quicker. What was our our last good one was Isaac's. Isaac's was a really good playthrough. Um, Maggie's was okay, but Isaac's was Isaac's was really good. So we want to do kind of the same thing like we did last time. And take this guy out without getting hit many times. Yeah, like I said, the soul heart situation. We don't have many soul hearts. That's because we were really, really getting unlucky, I guess, with our pills. Even even though we were getting so many pills, they just weren't that good. Well, I mean, they were okay, but they weren't... They weren't ball of steel. Alright, so he's in the second stage. Look, so the meat boy just literally sits there and just damages it over time. Alright, we're done with that. On to the cathedral. Okay. Gotta be careful. <laughs> we do have a secret, super secret, secret room. So we'll go into there. Oh, oh, we got a bill. Balls of steel. Wow. Okay, now we're getting all the balls of steel. Hopefully that continues. Hopefully that continues. Oh, I just picked... God, I'm so dumb. That's okay. We have 15. I mean, if we find a shop... I don't think there's any shops anymore. I really should be letting the bum friend get my coins. The coins are useless to me right now. Oh, God. What is this? Double... That's insane. I'm not going to that room. That was like a double greed with a second boss, or a third boss in there? No way, and one of those greeds was ultra greed. That is not worth it. I would have probably gotten destroyed. We're gonna avoid that room no matter what. I found pills, great. Not, not really good at all. We're gonna avoid that room no matter what we, what we do. Okay, watch out, these Loki dudes. <clears throat> I don't actually remember what these guys are called. I haven't fought these in a while. They're really not that hard. I mean, there's two of them, and it's like, what? There's two, but it's really not that difficult to kill. Okay, there we go. Got a bomb. So, Gish on Isaac is going to be really good, because all of his tears are going to be slowed, which is just going to be so helpful for dodging. You know, the pill. Speed up. Oop. Speaking of dodging, speed up's always great. I we, we have max stats now, don't we? Yeah, our stats are literally maxed. And that's what I was talking about. That's, like, literally how Kane, how I play Kane is always... You always end up with, like, max stats because of the pills. Which is sweet. Um, which is really good. Alright, they're dead. What we get? Strength! <sighs> oh, man. I might want to use that. See, we have two bosses left. We can use the sun on one, strength on the other. I feel like the sun is not as good as strength, to be honest, right now. So maybe I'll use the sun just on another... Just on, maybe on that really hard room, just use the sun to try to kill all of those guys. Or at least really damage all of them. Ah, uh, oh man, I'm so torn. I think yeah, I want to keep the strength. That's such a hard decision. I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's a, literally a really hard call. The sun also shows the entire map. Ah, uh, maybe I'll use it. I'll use the sun. Oh my god, this is, that's a really hard decision. I guess I'll use the sun next floor because it shows the map, and I just, I did just find the boss. So we wanna, we wanna save the sun for later. Not get hit by stupid greed. God dang it! Can never do greed without getting hit, ever. And we have really not many soul hearts left. Oh god, I just got it again. It's so bad. I just got- All my soul hearts are now gone! What is he dropping for me? Maybe a soul heart? No, okay. That's not good. Uh, so let's use strength on this dude. We're gonna use strength on Isaac, okay? I'm not gonna- I'm definitely not gonna go into the other rooms to try to get to the pills. It's not worth it. Okay, we're at Cain versus Isaac, alright? Put up our strength. Whoa. Okay, and now hopefully Gish will do some work right now. Or not. Or not do anything. Oh my god, he's firing off way too many. We could actually literally just let Super Meat Boy do the work for us and just dodge the tears. That might actually be the best the best idea, to be honest. Oh my god. He's not really doing much damage. But all those see he does more he shoots out more tears the more you shoot at him. So, maybe we can shoot off like- Oh, wow, I'm at one heart now. Come on, I really thought I was going to be able to do it this time. I've beaten this cane so many times. Alright, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. If we get hit once, we're dead. But, we did it! Yes! Nice! Okay, Isaac's now dead. Let us go heal. I think we have some hearts sitting around. And we have the sun. The sun fully heals us. Which is going to be pretty much the only thing we can really, like, hope to do. So, we're about to go into the final level of the game, which is called the chest. Um, the last boss is very similar to Isaac, just harder, okay? Whew, uh, yeah, you beat, you beat this boss and you're, you're completely done with the game. Like, there's nothing else left to the game after this boss. So, we are now entering the chest. Chest starts out like this, has four chests to help you, pretty much. That's how, that's how it works. So, we can open up these four chests, hopefully get a, a good, a good item. Uh, shoop de loops okay. Odd mushrooms good. We got a damage up. Meat mushrooms pretty good. I don't know if I want to keep the pills. I don't know. Um, hold on. Let's go into this room. Okay. We're gonna go. Oh, blood punny. That's not that good. We're gonna go into the first room and use the sun to kill. Hopefully, kill these guys or not, or just do. I guess a tiny bit of damage. Oh god. Oh god. So we got healed all the way. We didn't even kill them. That is absolute crap. How did that not kill them? That's okay. We can do it ourselves. Um, okay, and that's also what I want to do. I wanted to... I want to do our pills. Okay. Alright. We got... Oh my god, we got infestation. That's actually really good. I think. Now, I want to take shoop de whoop So, shoop de whoop Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. First, we're going to take the poop. The poop... Just... You poop. Yeah, I know. But... Alright, break that. Gives us nothing. shoop de whoop shoots out a laser beam. I mean, it's okay. We're going to go straight for the boss. Hopefully, these rooms aren't that hard. Oh, they kind of are. <laughs> Uh, there's so many horsemen rooms, it's crazy. So many horsemen rooms, because there's so many different horsemen they put in this game. Alright, that's one. Try to kill the other one now. Oh, God. Oh, soul heart. Yay. Oh, God, this is so... I'm, like, stressing. Oh, God, okay, that's an easy room. That was literally an easy room right there. Where it's just, you know, just uh, nothing. You just run right right through it. Whew. Okay, we're good. We're good. Man, I think I've, I feel like I've always had the Emperor on my hand whenever I go into the chest. Oh, crap. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. This is not a good... This is not a fun room right here. Hold on. We're doing it. We're doing it, though. That one guy died really quick. All right, Greed. We're not getting hit by Greed again. Screw Greed. There we go. All right, bum friend, please drop me, like, something. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I know what to do in a time like this. I know what to do in a time like this. I have gone through all my training for a time like this. We don't need the Polaroid anymore. I'm picking up Bloody Penny. And we're... Oh, I didn't even break these fires? New mistake. I'm picking up Bloody Penny, and we're going to run over all those pennies. Hopefully get a soul heart. Like, and a red heart. And a, maybe an eternal heart. I don't care. Some sort of heart, okay? We're picking up... We're going to pick up all those pennies before the bum can get to it. Ah! Wow, one red heart. That sucks. Okay, guys. Final boss. I need to drink water. I'm about to barf. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. We're versing question mark, question mark, question mark, the dead blue baby. Alright. 
And we're gonna use Shoop to Whoop in the beginning. There we go. Alright, I think he does the same thing as Isaac. He just shoots out a lot more tears. We're gonna let Meat Boy attack him, okay? So then we don't go crazy until he starts to fly, which I think then we're safe to just attack him as much as we want. Just like we did what we were doing with Isaac. But we waited till we waited till he started to fly. And then we just attacked him. Oh I got hit. Yeah, he does a ton of a whole heart of damage. That's not even cool. Alright, I'm not gonna get hit again. I'm not gonna get hit again. I'm not gonna let him spawn anything either once we actually start ramming on him with our attacks. Oh god. Oh god. Come on, start flying, dude. Please. Please start flying. Hopefully it really doesn't affect Alright, there we go. Now we're just now we just Oh my god, it does. That's that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. Oh mother of god. Alright, we have half a heart. Oh come on, I can do it! I can do it. Think about think about the children! Think about the children! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh my god, I haven't beaten his cane? Whew. My heart is racing! Good Ah! Uh, I guess I hadn't beaten his cane yet. Huh. I I don't know. The the final item rewards are a little bit glitched in this game. I might have actually beaten his cane before, but wow! That was a good run. That was awesome. That's when you have max stats and all these familiars and all this crap. All right, we can see the ending now. This is the ending. There's Isaac with his parents. There's uh, Maggie with the mom. And that's Isaac, and that's supposed to be like you know, like himself in the corner or something. There's his parents. That's sad, Isaac. Oh. And then Isaac sitting by his chest crying. Mom trying to kill him. And then he and oh, I never actually he and mom looking at a picture, huh? The end. Or is it? So yeah, the, you get this ending, you have to do it with every character. So that's pretty much how it works. <sighs> wow. I'm shaking. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my favorite character. That's probably why we won. So we still have, what, three nights left? We still have three nights left. So still a lot of craziness. Don't stop now that you've seen the whole game. Um, I'll be back with more. So hope you guys enjoyed. And until next episode, I will see you all later.